Hey guys, Roman here from Tech Guides, and in this video, I want to show you how to get a custom handle on Blue Sky. Now, I'm sure that many of you have signed up to Blue Sky wondering how you can get rid of this ugly, super long handle. Because for me, for instance, my handle was roman at techguides.bsky.social, which is just a huge mouthful. And of course, I just wanted to have this roman at Tech Guides as my handle. Now, for those of you living under a rock and don't know what Blue Sky is, this is essentially a somewhat recent decentralized alternative to X. And since X has pretty much gone down the shitter as of lately, for me personally at least, I've gotten so many bots and scam requests and DMs from definitely not people, um, that I decided that I wanted a bit of a change and also signed up to Blue Sky. However, after you sign up to Blue Sky, you have this super long handle, which really isn't very um, aesthetic, in my opinion. Now, the only requirement there is to have your own handle on Blue Sky is that you need to have your own domain name. Now, it doesn't really matter where the domain name is from. You can have it from GoDaddy, you can have it from Gandhi, you can have it from Hostinger, um, as the example in this video. Um, but essentially, you just need to be able to access your domain name. And this is essentially a means to verify your identity. So in Blue Sky, you want to click on settings, then you want to go to account, and then click on the handle option. Here you want to select I have my own domain, and then you have to enter your domain name. So in my case, this is techguides.yt, which is where I actually have my blog for all of my tech videos. In case you're interested, definitely something you want to check out. Now, as I mentioned before, there are two ways to verify your identity. Either if you don't have access to your DNS panel, you can simply upload a small text file uh, onto your domain, and then this is being verified. Or the better approach, in my opinion, is to simply add a TXT record. For this, you want to log in to wherever you bought your domain. In my case, this is on Hostinger. And you want to look for the DNS or name server option in your settings. Somewhere there, you'll find the option to manage your DNS records. And you should also have the option to actually add DNS records to your domain. So simply add a new DNS record, which should be of the type TXT. As name, use the underscore AT proto um, name. Uh, which essentially is just going to be appended to the beginning of your domain name. So the entire record has the name underscore atproto.techguides.yt in my example. Then copy the value for the txt record and paste it in the txt field. Finally, I also usually like to reduce my TTL, which is the time till life, uh, which allows you to just modify these entries a little bit faster. And finally, hit add record. Now, before you're going to continue on Blue Sky, you want to make sure that this TXT record has actually propagated in the internet and is uh, visible to Blue Sky. And for this, you want to head over to DNS Lockup. I'm going to leave all of the links in the description below, by the way. And you want to add the name that I mentioned before that is starting with this underscore at proto to the domain name or host name entry. What this does is it looks whether there is a TXT record called underscore AT proto associated with your domain name. Et voila, if everything worked well, you should be able to see this rather long string that Blue Sky provided you with on your TXT records. Finally, just a note, it appears that Blue Sky is actually going to reserve your original um, handle for you, so you don't have to worry about your original dot bsky dot social handle being taken over by somebody else. Um, it's going to be reserved for you even if you have your own custom handle. Next, you can hit verify DNS record and hopefully you'll get the message that the domain has been verified. And finally, you also want to click on update to whatever domain name you're chosen. In my case, this is techguides.yt, which will then um, swap your handle to the new one that you've defined using your domain name. And that is it. If you now go back to your profile, you should see after a reload of the page that you now have a new handle. In my case, this is roman at techguides.yt. In my opinion, this looks so much more professional and so much nicer than this super long blue sky dot social link like pretty much anybody else has. And it's kind of crazy how even official uh, Blue Sky um, accounts from large corporations or large uh, companies haven't figured out how to get their own handle or just haven't bothered, I suppose. Uh, but now you know how to get your own handle and you're going to look much more professional on Blue Sky. But that wraps it up for this video. If you still have any questions, then don't hesitate to leave them down below. And if you learned something new, then leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.